Understanding human behavior through the lens of Newton's laws of motion offers a fascinating perspective on how habits are formed, maintained, and altered. The first law of motion, which states that an object at rest stays at rest and an object in motion stays in motion unless acted upon by an external force, mirrors the nature of our habits remarkably well. Once a habit is ingrained, it tends to persist, often without conscious thought. For instance, consider the morning routine of a coffee drinker. Each day the individual rises, and without deliberation reaches for the coffee pot. This behavior is so routine that it requires little to no effort to maintain. However, if an external force, like a new job that requires an earlier start time or a decision to embrace healthier habits, intervenes, the individual may find it challenging to break this cycle. The same principle applies to bad habits. They linger until a significant motivational force or a change in circumstances compels us to confront them. Conversely, establishing good habits often demands an initial surge of effort. The first few mornings of waking up early to exercise are tough, but as the habit solidifies, it becomes easier to maintain. The second law of motion introduces the concept of force and mass, suggesting that the acceleration of an object depends on the force applied and its mass. In the context of habits, the mass represents how deeply entrenched a habit is in our lives. A deeply ingrained habit, such as scrolling through social media before bed, has considerable mass. Changing this behavior requires substantial force, whether that's a conscious decision to put the phone away or an external intervention like a new phone with limited capabilities. The beauty of this law lies in its encouragement of small, consistent efforts. Just as a small force applied over time can gradually change the motion of a massive object, incremental changes, like setting a timer for social media usage or gradually reducing screen time, can help shift our habits. Habit stacking, where new habits are built onto existing ones, exemplifies this principle well. By leveraging existing routines, we can create a snowball effect that builds momentum toward positive change. The third law of motion, which states that for every action, there is an equal and opposite reaction, resonates deeply with the cycle of habit formation and modification. When individuals attempt to break a habit, they often encounter resistance. For example, someone trying to quit smoking may experience cravings that feel insurmountable. This pushback can be discouraging but it highlights the inherent struggle in changing behavior. However, the law also underscores the positive feedback loops created by good habits. Engaging in regular exercise, for instance, often leads to increased energy and improved mood, encouraging continued participation in physical activity. On the flip side, negative habits can create a vicious cycle. Procrastination can lead to stress and anxiety, which in turn fosters further procrastination. Recognizing these feedback loops is crucial in understanding how habits can reinforce themselves, for better or worse. In conclusion, Newton's laws of motion provide a compelling framework for dissecting the complexities of human habits. By understanding the forces at play, whether they be inertia, the mass of our habits, or the reactions they provoke, we can gain insight into our behaviors. This awareness empowers us to minimize the inertia of negative habits while maximizing the momentum of positive ones. Through conscious effort and strategic interventions, we can navigate the intricate landscape of our habits, steering ourselves toward the behaviors we wish to cultivate.